very um nice i have a very large family so it was like a household of children i have six brothers and one sister and um growing up with my parents it was like um growing up around god i would say because in the week we go to school and then sunday will be the highlight of the week because um it's time to dress up and go to sunday school i enjoy sunday school and then um the service so it was very nice being around my parents um, and something else happened to even before going to church every morning at five o'clock that it would because we have to pray we have to pray sunday mornings we call it devotions yes if you're sleeping you had better not sleeping because you <laughs> up and out of that bed whether it's for a belt or a cookie <laughs> so, get up to pray and um, for us, kids, it wasn't a nice, I mean, thing to get up at five o'clock in the morning because mm -hmm. you would sleep. Mm -hmm. But this was new back then that if they put us like that in the long run, this case would be something else. Even though they might try to stray, but that will stick in the Maggie Bible. See, yes. you bring them up in the word of God, mm -hmm. and when they grow old, they will not depart from it. So I think my father knew that very well, and he instilled that at a very early age, and he made sure. He did that for us. There are other children around you that may have been out there playing, like on a Sunday they don't go to church, you playing cricket or rumbles. Didn't you feel like you you were being left out? Um, it never, no, I would say no. Because it was like routine for us. And most kids go to church, even though there's a few running second the yard or playing some kind of hopscotch, but most of the kids, it was like, it was like a, a, a Christian oriented place. Right. So on Sundays, whether it's Catholic church or whatever church, people go to church. So most kids are in their house getting ready to dress up and to go to church. So I never felt like, um, like, like I'm left out. Most of the um, activities in those days were like, um, youth meetings activities like scenarios kids i love to act mm -hmm. you know and um, in sunday school they would instill that in us we act out bible verses we act out bible stories and um, even some competition sometimes you have like a sunday school you know inspiration or you have concerts or crusades you know and uh, my family was always an active active part of that because my father who is a minister he preaches and he also sings so he's like he's more talented so it's a crusade or a concert, he's, you know, up front and maybe the MC of the program or the main, you know, participant there. Mm -hmm. And we were actually the same thing as well, growing up with him. I would say yes. Most of what you see is from my dad. <laughs> my mother, I mean, she just carried me, you know, mm -hmm. but I, everything about me, it, it stems from my daddy looks the height the color i'm a very friendly person outspoken and outgoing and my fact is just the same very interesting question because actually i have a four-year-old son his name is john mm -hmm. and i keep doing trying my best to imitate my father when the child is only four years old uh -huh. and in the when he goes to sleep if i don't come to pray with him he calls me he said mommy I'm ready to pray. We have to pray together. Mm -hmm. He prays and then I pray. I try my best to copy daddy in that sense of speaking. And John actually is, is like a little miracle child. And at one point in his life, he was with my father as well. And my father would instill the word in John. I would be amazed to see the way it would come out of his mouth naturally because wow. the child is small, but he has a nice computer up there. Yes. And it 
everything. He would teach the word of God the night before, and the next day, John is repeating everything, the chapter, the verse where it's taken from. John is growing up to be a little minister. A little minister. I'm passing it on. I'm passing it on. The world has changed a lot compared to when I was I was being brought up. You know, that's like years ago. And looking at the environment now, it's different. We used to play in the yard with, I mean, make our own toys. Eh? Yeah. And socialize with each other and make friends. Now you find the kids are into computer games, they're into TVs, and most times the parents are not there to supervise what the kids look at. Right. And they're so busy in life, they don't take time out, even Christian parents, to teach the children the word of God because they have to work. So in the mornings, we get up, we eat, and we head for the car, and we head to work, you go to school. But what happens before you go to school? Do you pray with that child? Even after school, maybe in the afternoon when the sun goes down, you in the house quiet. Teach them a, a scripture. Tell them a Bible story. You know, John loves that about me. He loves Bible stories. I really think that this has been lost. And um, most kids out there are lacking the word of God. That's why I'm pushing that thing in John because I know what I had growing up. And I want him to have the same thing as well. Because even though when, when they grow older, yes. even there is something inside of them that says, wait a while. This thing no, is it's not right, yeah? Something clicks inside of you when you want to walk down the wrong road. It brings you back to reality. Um, fall back on my faith. The only dark experience I would I would I would explain here, I didn't fall back on the faith in, in the in the experience. What I did was um the Bible says to obey your parents in the Lord, but this is right. So in my case scenario, God is my parents. He was speaking to me, giving me directions as to which road to take. Yes. I did not listen to my parents. I saw a different thing. I saw a nice thing in that time. I could not see what they were saying. But they were like, gee, if you go down that road, you're going to fall in a hole. Right. With the hole you're going to fall in. Please don't go down that road. My mind was already made up. Right. I was going down that road. So look at me, take my pretty little self and disobeyed my parents and seven years down the road what they saw came to pass <laughs> and I was consequences of what they told me not to do so um in that in that dark moment i had to find myself digging for god he warned me my parents i didn't listen then i was digging now to find god to help me out of that hole but god is a wonderful god even though we disobey yes. when god heart of repentance and we decided you know what man that's wrong but please take me back that's all he wants to hear i said what are why what daddy and mama was telling me is true but they warned me so how would they receive me now if i come back and say you know yes that was my 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 scare but knowing my father especially my father he loved me a lot i decided to reverse put my thing in reverse gear yeah. i went to my parents house told them, i am sorry i disobeyed you guys okay really face the consequences of what you were saying mm -hmm. and please forgive me we had a long meeting of tears and reconciliation they yes. hugged me and they were so happy because my mother is a praying person mm -hmm. and she said to me for seven long years i went by the seaside and I was praying for you and I was asking God, when are you going to let my daughter experience that freedom right now where she is? It's not good. Please, Father God, deliver her. You know? So when I came back home and she saw me, she was, wow, that's an answered prayer. So my fear about them not receiving me was was just a nonsense. Everybody in the family, my siblings, my siblings who um I was so close to yes. because of wrong direction i took i lost with them everything was taken from me i disobeyed i walked down the wrong road i faced consequences but god still brought out positive vibes you know through all this all this thing because of where my heart was right. because i never lost sight that god god in my life and my testimony is compacted in a city because what i went through some folks are going through a hard time and their lives are like a prison-like life 
So I have a CD release called um. Yeah. I don't know if you can see this right here. Okay. Yes. Right a, mm-hmm. This and um, it came out last last September. Mm-hmm. And it's entitled Freedom. Jesus Christ Freedom Makes me feel 